Today I'm looking at a new trading platform called Logix Trader. This is a proprietary platform that has been developed by ACY Securities to provide traders with a multifunctional platform that is intuitive and simple to use. And I think they've nailed it. Let's take a look. Logix Trader is a web-based platform so there's no requirement for downloading and installing software on a computer. This platform can be accessed from anywhere which is very convenient. Once you are logged in and open Logix Trader, you'll be presented with the screen that you can see in front of me now. Everything that you can do within Logix Trader is done within the windows on this screen. Starting with the chart window, here you can see we have an Aussie CAD chart as denoted by the tab title across the top of the chart window. Below this we get the open, high, low and close information for the current candle. We can see this information for any other candle by simply hovering over it with our cursor. The chart we are currently looking at is a daily chart as shown by the drop down menu title in the top right corner. This again can be quickly changed if desired by clicking the time frame and then selecting the one you want to see. As is standard with price charts, the price scale is on the right hand side and the time scale is across the bottom of the chart. The data shown in the chart can be manipulated in a few ways. You can click and drag on the chart to move forwards and backwards in time. You can see as I do this, the chart is automatically resizing the scales to best fit the data shown. You can stop this from happening by clicking and dragging on the price scale to resize this manually. Then when you drag the chart, you now have the ability to drag it wherever you desire and it will keep the same scaling sizing as you do so. The chart can also be customised using the settings window accessed by clicking the cog icon in the top right corner. Here you can change the chart type, you can choose from a candle chart, hollow candle, bar, line and area charts. You can then customise the look of the chart using the style and background tab options. Opening a new chart is very easy and can be done by either clicking the plus symbol next to the chart tab and searching for the market you want or by using the watch list feature. The watch list window is opened and closed by clicking the watch list button in the top left corner of the screen. Here you can build a list of markets that you want to keep an eye on. For each market listed we can see the symbol name, sell and buy prices and spread. You can add a market to this list by either using the search box in the top right corner of the window and then clicking the market you want from the resulting list or by clicking the all symbols button across the top of the screen. This will open a window where you can filter through all available markets by category. You can also search using the search bar at the top of the window. Once you've found the market you are looking for, you can click the checkbox next to that market and it will be added to your watch list. You can also uncheck any markets you want to remove from your watch list. You can also remove a market from the list by clicking on the dots buttons that corresponds with the list entry and then click hide symbol. You can double click any market in the watch list and it will open the chart window in the existing chart window tab. If you want to open a market in a new chart window tab, press the plus symbol next to the existing tab, then either double click the market you want to open or right click it and then press chart window. You will now have both charts open on separate tabs. From the watch list window you can also find the specification details for each market listed. You can do this by right clicking and pressing specification. Here you will find all the relevant information for the market including trading conditions, trading costs and market hours. Logix Trader enables their users to take advantage of their dynamic margin requirements for trades. This means that the margin requirement to open a trade changes based on the overall trade size. To understand this better, we can find the market we are interested in in trading in our watch list. Let's say for example we want to trade gold. If we open the specification window for gold and scroll down on the trading conditions tab, we will find the margin rate section. Here you can see the margin requirement changes based on the notional trade size. So if you were going to open a trade that was under 5000 in value, you would only require a 0.02% margin for that trade. Let me show you this on the deal ticket. Here I have a new order window for gold and you can see if I enter one unit in the trade size box, the notional value for the trade is approximately $4,000 and so our leverage is approximately 5000 which is equal to the 0.02% we looked at earlier. And you can see if I increase the trade size and so too with it the notional value of the trade, the leverage reduces meaning that you need proportionately more capital to open a trade the bigger it gets in size. This is a fantastic feature for traders with smaller capital sizes as it allows them to better utilise the capital they have across different markets. 
rather than their capital getting locked up in margin requirements for existing positions. Logix Trader also offers their traders the option of setting a guaranteed stop loss. This could really be an account saver when trading in unusual circumstances where the market price is moving quickly. What can happen in such circumstances with standard stop losses is what's called slippage, where the specified level isn't fulfilled and traders take a larger loss than they anticipated as the stop loss level is executed at the next available price. A guaranteed stop loss removes the risk of this happening. So if you are opening a position before a potential high impact news announcement for example, using a guaranteed stop loss could be a very good idea. To utilise this feature all you need to do is click the stop loss title when opening a trade and change this to guaranteed stop loss. You will see you may be prompted to change the value of the stop loss level if it is too close to the current market price. This is because the guaranteed stop loss level requires a larger distance from the current price than a standard stop loss. Once you have set a valid level, you can then open the trade as normal with your guaranteed stop loss in place. Logix Trader also provides traders with the ability to have multiple charts visible at once. Using the multi-chart mode button in the top right corner of the screen, you can select which multi-chart layout you would like to use. Here I'm going to select two charts side by side. It will then automatically show the two charts I had open tabs for already in this view. However, if I picked the 4 chart option, it would give me two blank charts so I can pick which charts I want to be shown here. You do this in the usual way, first by making sure you have the correct chart window selected and then simply opening a new chart. You can select a chart to make changes to it by either clicking the chart window itself or by clicking the corresponding tab across the top of the chart window. You can return to the single chart mode at any time by clicking the corresponding button in the top right corner of the screen. Logix Trader also has a host of trading tools accessible using the menu on the far right side of the screen. Here you can access a variety of cursor types, line tools, shape tools, trend channel tools, Fibonacci tools, GAN tools, trade plan tools and text boxes. Simply select the tool you want to use and then place it on the chart. You can see here that I have added a line tool by selecting where I want the line to start and then clicking where I want the line to finish. Once placed, a small window will appear allowing me to make changes to this tool. I can change the line colour, thickness, arrow head type, manually enter the start and end points and delete the tool. Once you click off the tool, this window will disappear. You can simply click the tool again to make it reappear if needed. You will also notice once the line tool is selected, it details the distance between the two points plotted in terms of bar and price change, so this tool can be used as a ruler if desired. Logix Trader has a host of indicators that you can access by clicking the indicators button in the top right corner of the screen. Here a window appears where all the indicators have been filtered into four categories. Trends, Oscillators, Volumes and Williams. You can look through each category for the relevant indicator you need or you can manually search for it using the search box at the top of the window. To add the indicator to your chart, simply click on it and it will be added. You will now see the indicator listed under the trade buttons in the top left corner of the chart window. You can amend the indicator settings by clicking the cog icon or delete it by using the bin icon. In the settings window for the moving average I have added, you can see I can change a variety of settings relevant to the indicator. I can also change the styling options of the indicator on the style subtab. Something I really like about Logix Trader is the built-in economic calendar. Often you will find yourself having to leave the trading platform you are using in order to check an economic calendar, but here we can access it simply by clicking the economic calendar button in the top left corner of the screen. The calendar window will open on the right hand side of the screen and detail all the upcoming economic news announcements for the day. You can see for each entry we get an announcement time, description of where and what that news announcement is, a star rating for its potential impact on the markets, the actual figure once it's been released, as well as the predicted and previous figures. We can also move through different days to see what other announcements are on the horizon. We also have the ability to filter these announcements based on their potential impact rating and country of origin by using the filter button at the top of the window. To open a trade in Logix Trader we can use the new order button in the top left corner of the screen. Here a window appears where we can configure the trade we want to open. On the left hand side of the window we can choose what order type we want to use. Market order, limit order or stop order. Once selected we can then choose the market we want to trade. 
whether we want to buy or sell. If we've selected limit or stop order, then we need to specify the price at which the order is placed, the unit size we want to trade, and any stop loss or take profit levels we want to use. Once happy, we can place the order. Any market orders will be opened immediately, and any pending orders will wait until the specified price level is hit. We can also quickly open trades using the one-click trading buttons in the top left corner of the chart window. This can be enabled and disabled by clicking your account button in the top right corner of the screen, and then toggling the one-click trading switch. To use the buttons, simply enter the trade size in the central box, and then hit either buy or sell, and the trade will be opened immediately. We can manage any open trades or pending orders using the trading terminal window. This can be accessed by clicking the trade terminal button in the top left corner of the screen. The window opens across the bottom of the screen and both our open trades and pending orders can be seen in the trade tab. Here we can see all the relevant details for each including when the order was placed, order type, unit size, net P&L among others. To modify a trade or pending order we can press the pencil icon and this will open the modification window for that trade or order. When looking at a trade, here we can add a stop loss, take profit level or close the trade. We can also quickly close a position by clicking the little X icon in the trading terminal. The history tab shows us a record of our previous trading actions on the account. This can also be filtered by using the date and status or type boxes at the top of the window. All closed positions on the account can be seen in the closed positions tab with the corresponding PL for each. Finally, the journal tab shows a list of all the individual actions on the account. This could be things like setting a stop loss, for example. If you need help placing a trade, Logix Trader has a tutorial button in the bottom left corner that shows three videos to help you get started. I like this feature a lot and I hope to see them build on it in the future. You can also see a variety of hotkeys to navigate the platform, all of which are detailed in the hotkeys window accessed by clicking the button in the bottom left corner of the screen. Overall, I think this trading platform has achieved exactly what it's set out to do. It's not the most feature-rich platform out there, nor is it aiming to be, but it's definitely the most intuitive platform I've used. It has a very clean aesthetic and is super easy to navigate around. I think newbie traders will find this platform quite easy to grasp without being overwhelmed with too much information or excessive functionality. And I think more experienced traders that like a clean, simple to use charting experience will find this very attractive. If you want to find out more about Logix Trader, head over to the Logix Trader page on the ACY Securities website to find out more about the platform and to open an account if you want to get started. Thanks as always for watching traders and I'll see you next time.